Have you ever wondered how a man knows that you're the one? What exactly is going through his mind to even allow him to come to that realization and determine that that is the decision? The answer might surprise you because it has nothing to do with how you look, which is why on today's show, we're going to be discussing how men know she's the one. That way you can step into a man's mind and finally understand exactly what will make him fall in love with you. So number one is going to be authenticity. Everyone likes to pretend like they're being their real selves and their real authentic selves. A lot of times guys are going to massage and manipulate their personality for whatever best suits or serves you because they want something from you. And they know that you can serve them in particular ways. They're going to make sure that they're hyper fixated on being what you need at that moment. When a man knows you're the one truthfully, and he actually wants to spend the rest of his life with you, he will identify that he doesn't have to be anyone else except for himself. A lot of guys in relationships and in dating, uh, they don't really feel seen or heard because their feelings usually always has to take a backseat to a woman's feelings, which is fine. But at the end of the day, when someone seems to finally show interest in them and they feel comfortable enough in being their true selves, that is when a man says to himself, wow, I can actually be me with her. You really want to be understanding whether the guy that you're with feels like he can be his real authentic self. Men also are so used to putting up a wall and a front that, hey, I'm a man, so I'm not supposed to have feelings and emotions. I'm a man, so I'm not supposed to cry. I'm only supposed to feel anger. Grr, I big strong man like gorilla. The only woman he ends up thinking is the one is the one that he feels he actually sees the real him. This isn't something that you're easily going to get out of guys. I mean, like information about who they really are, what they've really been through and how it's really affected them. A lot of those stories, especially the ones that are really sensitive and in some cases really traumatic are the stories that he wants to shy away from when you're talking to guys and getting to know them better you should be very aware of what their deeper darker k-i-n-k-s's are but you need to understand the root of why those are the way that they are what you don't realize is there's a whole nother side to intimacy for men that's based on their mental emotional and spiritual experiences meaning that the things that interest them will stem from their childhood, stem from the things that they've been through. This is part of the authenticity that men feel emotionally that they can be their real selves and share with you who they really are and how they really feel about things. So when you have the ability to bring that out of him, he feels so much more at home and comfortable with you that it becomes that much harder to replace you. A function of you being the one is him feeling like he can't get what he gets from you with anyone else. You'll be so shocked about how much men are suppressing within them when you start getting good at asking questions and digging deeper. Number two is the aspect of a guy being intentional with you while being patient with you. Now, I know these things kind of don't seem like they go hand in hand uh, because intentional feels like it's pushing you forward, but patient feels like you're okay with where things are. Guys, when they recognize that you're the one, they know that they want to build with you. Now, I didn't say that they automatically by the snap of a finger are like, oh my God, I want to you know, marry you and I want to have a baby with you. When a guy meets you, and as he's learning you, he's like, oh, no, you're the girl I really want. He becomes very intentional about your relationship. He says to himself, OK, I'm here for a reason. And that reason is to build with her, get to know her more, learn her, develop our connection, develop our relationship so that eventually we can be in a serious long term relationship. He has a clear destination where he wants to go and a pathway to get there. We got to date each other. We got to learn more about each other. We got to meet each other's family, meet each other's friends. On the other flip side, while being intentional with you, that's also going to mean that he's going to be pushing the relationship forward. You're going to be the one that is either comfortable with the pace or in some cases you might be uncomfortable with the pace. Now, guys are always gauging how you feel about how they're interacting with you to understand if this is something you're comfortable with or if things are moving a little bit too fast. He can be intentional with you, meaning pushing the relationship forward, but also be patient with you in the ways and the aspects of your relationship that you don't want to rush through. 
he's an individual with his own set of perspective and experiences, and he might really want you and want to build with you. But you're also an individual with your own set of experiences and perspective. So a lot of times it best serves you to be patient and pace the relationship so that you can ensure that he's here for the right reasons and you guys are both coming to an understanding of what you want in the relationship and what it's supposed to be. When a guy recognizes that he really is here for the long term, it doesn't affect his psyche when you tell him you're not ready for something right now. Guys who are trying to rush through things, they're the ones that are frustrated with that. If a guy's going to be here for the long haul, why would he have a problem being patient with you? If someone told you, hey, um, all you got to do to get this $10 million is wait a couple years to get this uh, $10 million, but I can guarantee you get this $10 million, you have no problem waiting to get your $10 million. And number three is he thinks of more than himself. This is actually such a magical thing for men when they transition into living for themselves and about what they want and what they care about to like actually transitioning to being more selfless and living for more than just him. Guys can also recognize within themselves when they're beginning to live for more than just themselves. That becomes an internal motivator to push them to do more and be more. You ever hear guys in movies say things like, oh, I got to get through this, guys, because tonight I'm getting home to my wife and kids. We going to get through this together. They recognize that there becomes a transitioning period where now there is more to live for than just me. In fact, it motivates me so much I can achieve more for myself because it's not just for me. It's actually for me and my wife. When a good woman comes into his life and he recognizes that he wants that woman and wants to build with her, uh, she becomes part of his purpose. He wants to serve you. He wants to make you happy. The reason that he works hard is so that you can have a good life. Uh, all the things that he has to endure in order to be the man that you need and to make your life good, you're why he does it. And because when it changes within them, they start to act differently. They start to go about their life differently. They start to approach their career differently. Everything starts to feel like it has more meaning and it matters more. It's so easy to be lazy and to get nothing done when you have no one to be accountable to and you have no one relying on you. Because when guys recognize that they're living for more than just themselves, they become much more selfless and realize that my happiness is not just my happiness. In fact, my happiness is directly tied to my woman's happiness. They take pride in serving you, doing things for you, and uh, going about his life with the purpose of knowing that he is trying to make you happy. He wants your life to be better because he's in it. Number four is being inspired by you. Men might tell you that the easier it is for them, the better it is for them. They don't. What they're actually trying to do is get you to make it easy for them so that they don't have to work for anything. But in reality, they don't end up appreciating you when you make it easy for them. Men become inspired by the person that you are and how you carry yourself. Aspects of your personality and your character become like things that he wishes he had within him. You just being you, having self-respect, carrying yourself with grace, fires him to be a better man. And so because you have self-respect, because you have standards, all of that sets the stage where he feels like in order to be the person and the man that you require in a relationship, he has to meet a certain level. That also ends up inspiring him to be a better man. He feels better about himself. I love the person that I am with and around you. What they're really saying is the things that you bring out of me inspires me to be better and do better. I'm so much more proud of who I've been and what I've done and how I've carried myself. You start to fall in love with the person that you become around that person and with that person because of how much you do in the relationship and how you adjust yourself and try to be better for the relationship. And you almost become like, like a battery in his back that you actually give him the strength and the power to push through things that he never would have the motivation. I know that this sounds, you're like, damn, really? Like girls do all this for guys? Yes, yes, yes.
The way that you inspire a guy is not by saying more, it's about doing more. It's by carrying yourself with respect and with grace, not allowing him or anyone else to walk all over you and to be a doormat to people. The people who are the most disciplined, the people who have self-respect, who stand up for their boundaries, who are clear, who know what they want, who are intentional, who achieve goals, are the people that others look towards and say, I would love to possess the qualities and abilities that you have. Just investing into yourself and growing and becoming a better version of yourself can actually inspire men to be a better version of themselves. And number five is the representation. One of the things he'll realize is that he loves the way that you represent him by the way you carry yourself, by the person that you are. And he recognizes that he wants to continue having you represent him and his family because he knows that you carry yourself with respect. You carry yourself with honor. You get things done. You don't allow people to walk all over you. If there is a misalignment between how you want to be seen by guys and what you're outwardly representing based on the places that you go, the way you act, the people that you hang out with, there needs to be an adjustment made if you want to see the way that men approach you be different. If you want men to come across you and say, I love the way you represent yourself and I want you to represent me, then you also have to look in the mirror and ask yourself the honest question. Is the way that I'm outwardly representing myself in alignment with how I want those men to be receiving me emotionally and, and spiritually? The way you're outwardly projecting will affect how people approach you. It will affect the level of respect they show you. There are men that you want, high quality men that will treat you right, be intentional with you and all that good stuff. If they're on operating on that frequency, then there also has to be an alignment in the frequency that you're already operating on. They want other people to meet you and getting to know you is a great representation of everything either I stand for or I would love to stand for. So let's just say for the sake of argument, well, you lost 50 pounds. Then you changed your life around, you changed your eating habits around, and you look so much better now. When a guy meets you and he learns more about you, the way your mind works and the experiences that you have, he's inspired by that, number one, and the challenges that you've overcome in your own life. And then he also says to himself, the representation of who she is as a woman, I want that to represent me as well. So when people see her and meet her and hear her story, I want that to represent everything that I believe in because I believe in her. I want her to be representing the essence of who I want to be and what I want to represent for myself, for my family, for my children. 